Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to take another look at Devika, which is an agentic AI software engineer. We're going to install it and then run it for some specific use cases. So this is Devika. I already had a video on Devika, but uh, one of my viewers uh, suggested to rerun and show the steps again with the updated version. So this is the demo of Devika. What you can do is you can write the instruction here, for example, implement uh, the game of life with Pygame. And this is going to search the web and then write the code by itself. And then you can just run the code and you have this game of life. That is pretty cool. We are going to implement it on our own. Now I'm going to be using uh, local models. Uh, we could use Cloud3, GPT-4, Gemini, Mistral, Grok, local LLMs using Olama. I'm going to first try with Cloud3 and then we are going to see different use cases and uh, write different codes and test it out. So I have the instructions written down on a word file. I'll just paste the instructions and then you can have a look. So the things that we are need, uh, we're going to need is the first is the Git. So we need the Git installation. So if you're on a Windows, you can download the Git from here. If you're on a Mac, you can download uh, the Git from here. Then we need to have Anaconda. So for the Windows version, I can go and click here and install this. So another installation is I'm going to be using Visual Studio Code Editor. So I have already downloaded this and I'm a regular user of Visual Studio Code Editor. If you want to use local language, uh, large language models, you can download Olama. I have already installed Olama and it's running. So you can say Olama and on the right uh, status bar, you can see that Olama is running here. So I'm going to close these. So Git installation, Anaconda, Visual Studio and Olama. The next step is we're going to go ahead and select a folder so this is the repo we are talking about this is devika repo i'm going to copy this repo here i'm going to go to a specific folder where i want to work so i've selected this folder 251 devika and i'm going to say cmd and then i'm going to say git clone and paste in the link this will clone devika so we have this Devika folder. Now we can go inside the Devika folder. And once you're inside the Devika folder, what I can do is I can say code space dot. This will open the Visual Studio code and with all the codes here. The next step is we need to create a virtual environment. So for creating a virtual environment using Conda, we can use this. So I'm going to go ahead to my terminal, a new terminal, and then I'm going to paste this. Create Conda dash and Devika Python 3, 11 and Y. This is going to install a virtual environment. The next step is to install all the requirements. So pip install dash r requirements.txt. Let the virtual environment finish and then you're going to install the requirements. Okay, now you're going to activate Conda, activate Devika. So just copy this and paste it here. Now we are in the virtual environment that we have created just now. Next, we are going to install the requirements. So for the installation of the requirements, you can type this. pip install dash r requirements.txt. This is going to install all the requirements which are available in the txt, requirement.txt. So these are the installations in the requirement.txt. We have Flask, Olama, and all these requirements. Okay, we have the installations done. And next, we are going to install the Playwright with depths. This is going to install the requirements for showing in the Chromium. The next step is the configuration files. So we have this sample config toml. I'm just going to rename this to config.toml. And then uh, we are going to use different keys. So different storages, uh, different API keys and different API endpoints. 
I'm going to use Bing search so I can go to Bing here Bing web UI a web search API redirecting okay you can create a resource group here create a new one put in a name and uh, select the pricing of uh, free calls then you can go and uh, just click next and you can create that since I've already created uh, you can see this search uh, you can see this in the see all you can see this devika calls so if i click on devika calls and then i'm going to go to keys and endpoints here you can see the key so i'm going to copy the key two or key one anyone would work i'm going to copy the key two go back to visual studio code and in the bing option api keys i can put in this key Next, I'm going to use Claude. So I can go to Claude, Entropy Claude, and sign in with the account. And then I'm going to go to API keys here, create a key, uh, create a key, just some random name, and uh, click on create a key, copy this key, and uh, put it in the Visual Studio Code Editor. So in the Claude section, I can have this. So these two keys will be used. Uh, I've used Bing and Claude. So the next step is what you can do is start the Devika server using Python Devika.py. So this is completed. You can now start Python Devika.py and this should load up uh, everything pretty good. So it's initializing Devika, initializing requisites, jobs, loading the sentence, transformer, BERT models, Olama available. Okay, while this is loading, what I can do is get the front end ready. I am going to go to this location, bun.sh, and I'm going to paste this command to my PowerShell. So what I can do is I can go to Devika. Um, okay, we can go to PowerShell first. Anaconda PowerShell prompt. And then I am going to go inside the Devika folder here and the UI folder here. Copy the location of the UI folder and change the directory CD to that UI folder. Once you are inside the UI folder, what you can do is you can install the PowerShell. So just paste the PowerShell here and you can see the installation. Okay, next we are going to restart this terminal. So I'm going to say PowerShell again. Anaconda PowerShell prompt. And I'm going to change the directory to the UI again. So I change the directory to UI. And now what I can do is I can just run a type bun to see if everything has been done correctly. So this is done. Next, I can run bun install. So bun install to install all the files which are available inside the UI folder. So this is installing. Okay, we have all the installations here. The next step is type bun run dev so bun run dev okay so this is ready i think so we can copy this http localhost 3000 port and head over to that port to the localhost and see if everything has been set up correctly this should load up a devika ai interface on your browser so what i can do now is we can select the search engine i'm going to select uh, bing option here and for the models i am going to select the cloud opus in this case and uh, interface and just create a new project uh, let's say a rag application here now i really wanted to create this uh, create a rag application create a rag application using open source softwares like langchain and olama i think this should be it let's see if it is able to 
create this project. The next one is Microsoft's Retro Language Generation in Azure Search. So it was able to locate this page where some things about RDG has been mentioned. Agent has completed the task. Let's go and see what it has written. So I'm going to go to data projects and drag here. So the readme file, first of all, this repository contains the code for developing a rag application, open source tools like Langchain and Olama and install this requirements. So requirements.txt, we have Langchain and Olama. Okay. In the main file, however, it was not able to write the entire code. Okay. That is pretty bad. If I can ask a question, complete the code in main.py okay to complete the main.py i need to review the existing code i will carefully examine the code okay it has you know changed uh uploaded or changed the main.py file so data source is example.txt it's reading the data source text loader then it's going to start up the vector store the model is this this started up a chain and the result not bad not bad but of course we need various parameters to get this working for example we need the manually we need to put the model uh, of olama the part file and then we need to insert a text file but i'm really happy that it is able to give me still give me this code which i can modify and uh, create my rag applications but this is from devika if you want to see how we step by step create a rag application follow my channel because uh, since the last few videos i have been uh, going deep dive into rag applications if this is something that you want to build a rag application and ultimately a chatbot uh, follow me and uh, subscribe to this channel like this video and I will see you in the next one. Thank you. Have a nice day.